okay and welcome back to another episode of the Kiss Show. This show is actually a little bit different. This is called After Sack Snacks. And the reason why we're doing this show today is because a lot of us get dehydrated after snacks, but we get really hungry and some of us later we get really tired. So we, we, we developed uh, a few fast courses that you can eat to satisfy your sexual desires, whether in the bedroom or on your breaks from the bedroom. Okay, so with me I have I'm joined here with two chefs, Ayu Trishna, culinary chef, and to my right we have Shadam's pastry chef. So this episode is basically about after sex snacks. Can you say that Trishna? After sex snacks? Good. Can you say yeah. that today? After sex snacks. Try to say that five times. Oh, fast. I was like, I was asking you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me what to write, right? Yeah, but okay. Yeah. So first we're gonna start off with a little mimosa. Which I'm gonna do. I'm not really good in the kitchen. I'm good in the bedroom. I cook in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna start with For mimosa. A lot yes, of you may not know, mimosa is good for breakfast and for dinner. You can have this alcohol whenever you like. So it's basically champagne. And a little bit of orange juice. Very simple, very easy. Because a lot of us get dehydrated and a lot of us um, get hungry. So this is basically why we're making this video. I like actual orange juice. I'm not really into alcohol, so mine is more orange juice than alcohol. <laughs> but it tastes just as good. So today's gonna share with me. Cheers. As we get started. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Stupid, nice. right? It's really okay. So, Ayu, what are we cooking with you today? And you are? today is assistant, so don't run away. <laughs> we are cooking some chicken teriyaki, my style, which is going to be have a little kick. Which is, is what is it? Jack Daniels? Daniels. Mm -hmm. Right? What we're going to do is very simple, it's going to take minutes. But it's gonna taste nice, so it's gonna absorb all the flavor, right? What we're gonna do first, of course, you clean the chicken, and then you cut it to your liking. I like it big. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> so this this chicken has been cleaned. So I'm gonna cut it just like maybe jardinia, um, about one inch, yeah, one inch and an inch thickness. Yeah, it's all about the edges. Mm -hmm. Cut up, rinse the bowl. Always rinse the bowl. Yes. Yeah. Why does it sound like Looks clean. Alright, put back your chicken in there. And we're gonna take the whole. What is it? Ounce? Check. Five. It's, it's actually about Five an ounce. Ounces, yeah. It's about an ounce. Um, Assistance, please. Oh, so while they're trying to open that, what I'm going to do is you need a little bit of soy sauce, right? And just pour maybe about, say, five tablespoons. This is going to taste nice. Looks nice. Right? <laughs> so that's that's about five tablespoons right there. Okay. That's good. And then the jack panels here, and I'm gonna pour the whole thing in there. So we're having a shot within our chicken. Exactly. <laughs> so you're ready for the next one. Just toss everything together, mix it up, right? Leave it there. And then what you're gonna do is, I have this little ingredient here that I brought from home, but we have it in Bermuda. We have it everywhere on the island. Basically, if you go to any supermarkets on the island, we will have this called ground coriander seeds, right? I have it back home. I have it sent from back home because it's just, it's different. They handle it differently back home. Where is it's back home? Indonesia. Indonesia. Right. So you just pour maybe about one teaspoon or two teaspoon. I like it. I like the spices to get really into the meat. So mm -hmm. I like more of them. And then what you need is some sugar. Do you have some sugar? Yes, yeah, right in front of you. Oh, sugar is right here. So sugar. I'm just going to eyeball it. It's probably you need probably like about three tablespoons of sugar. 
Well, as everybody knows, um, chefs never measure things. Unless so your pastry right. chef likes today, exactly. it, it's very... Yeah, she has you, to be really You accurate. have to pay attention right. to pay it. Attention but when to it comes to culinary chef, you mm -hmm. just go on based on your taste and right. texture. Here and then mix everything together. Oh, mm -hmm. this is going to taste nice. It tastes nice. Mm -hmm. It looks nice already. So you're doing so. Like a raw. Mm -hmm. We're doing like a marinade type of thing. Right. right. So what we're going to do, right, you know how you usually have to get the pan really hot and then add the chicken one by one to serve. We don't need to serve because at the end, this is going to reduce and it's going to caramelize. It's going to coat the chicken itself. So, okay. Okay. You want to get the pan real hot. Get, get it to the point where it smokes. See the smoke's coming out now. Mm -hmm. So when you see the smoke coming out and, the, and you have a little bit of oil on the pan and you see the oil already like try to get away from the middle part of the pan. So what you do is just dump all the chicken, all of them together. You can see the cooking. You don't want no complications. Just the last thing you want after, you know, your multiple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically all the chicken is on in the pan. Now we don't want to add this liquid to it yet. We want to wait until, you know, until everything is reduced. Then we're going to add the liquid. That way the other side of the chicken, when we flip them, they will have some juice as well. What I'm going to do is heat up that pan over there. What we're going to do, we're going to kind of fry this noodles here. This is what you call rice stick noodles. You can find it in um, either in Mild Supermarket or Marketplace. Any supermarket should have like Asian section nowadays. And they're cheap, you know, and they, they taste really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to move to the back. I'm just waiting for this pan to get really hot. So it's going to take a little time. Mmm, it's smelling really good. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. Another one, again, get the pan really hot with, you know, um, some oil in it, maybe about a quarter of the pan of the oil. And then you have the rice sticks. So basically what you just do is dump it in there. See? Oh, yeah. it just, it just, it just, yeah, it just, it just rises up or puffs, you know. And then, because the pan is, is small, what, what I do, and don't be afraid of heat, because when you touch this part, it's not really hot. So what you do is just flip it like this. Right, it will fry the other side of it. So that's that's it. That's done. You know, easy, and easy and simple. Very simple. Very very simple. So it doesn't need any ingredients to it. And mm -hmm. basically, what ingredients is going to come from the chicken? It's gonna, it's, you're gonna taste everything from the chicken. Now, since he already flipped all the chicken, what I'm gonna do is add the rest of the um, sauce to it, right? And then I'm just gonna grab another plate from here. So can you grab that from here? Okay. Okay. Okay, look at the chicken now. It's caramelized, the sauce has been reduced. You don't want to reduce it too much. You want it, you want the sauce to coat, coat, coat the chicken, really, like, you know, to, to make it look like it's been caramelized. So, Definitely we're only just gonna plate this, right? Put it just right on top of the okay. cookie. This one's trying to get away. <laughs> it's all right, what it? Ready to taste. Okay, we plated the chicken, and what we do is just gonna be a simple garnish, you know, being that you're in a rush and you just wanna go straight back to where you were. So what we have is just a little bit of um, paprika powder. What you wanna do is to sprinkle around the rice itself so it looks nice and, you know. And it just adds more. It adds more colors. color to it. Mm -hmm. Right, and we'll start up the plate as well. It doesn't have to be too much. The reason why I use paprika powder is because it's not too spicy, as in the cayenne pepper. So if you want, you want to actually uh, interrupt the, the, the chicken flavor. Mm -hmm. right. So right, just clean up a little bit. There you go. And we have this parsley sprigs that we already soaked in water. Um, they're okay somewhat, but anyway, just let the water shake a little bit, and then just put it on top. There you go. Voila. Okay. So now